all right you guys so i'm gonna film one more video today i'm really in kind of like not in, really in the mood um just because like it's freezing fucking cold in here and like when it's cold i kind of like hibernate into not really wanting to do things but it's fine i'm very cold right now <laughs> okay we are about to do um another reading this just makes me realize like after this video i'm going to just take my ass to sleep like i'm always trying to like work and just keep moving and never really give myself a rest but this is like the perfect energy to like or the perfect like temperature to like just rest finally but yeah, we're about to pull some oracles really quick. And then some tarot. See what's going on. Alright, so I see that someone is trying to come into your life and chase lust. The same person who's chasing lust is worried that you're about to go to where someone different compared to them. Alright. I see an older person wants to be young again. All right. But the most high block is connection. It's going to be a female. All right. Somebody is trying to spread some fake news about you. Overstepping boundaries. Yeah, something's happening in the winter, right? But you're about to be happy, probably happy in the winter, right? I'm also hearing the word confused. Someone's very confused about what is going on around them, but you're gonna be very, you're gonna be receiving a lot of information very soon okay i see a uh, astronaut you could be an astronaut this is the first time when did i write this see <laughs> when did i write that it says sometimes you gotta go some everyone um and focus on your own healing. Yeah, you are you're definitely leaving this situation behind, which is why the most high blocked them. Right? Because you're supposed to be hanging out and consulting yourself with other leaders. Like you, you are a leader. You're supposed to be hanging around other le leaders. And that's not the case here. All right. Which is why you're leaving the situation behind to start something new for something better. Okay. Yeah, because the war is over, all right. I said, like I said, separating the real from the fake, exactly. <sighs> Which is these, this family and these friends. You can feel sex. You, uh, what I? Why am I hearing sexual energy? What? Somebody's very sexual. I don't really, uh, I don't really want to say that, like, family and friends, but, like, someone's definitely sexual in your family or friends. I'm just getting, now I'm getting chills, like, it's just something is definitely disgusting here. Like, you're very disgusted. Yeah, someone is definitely disgusted, like, heavy disgusted, or they're very disgusting. All right, can't keep them hands to themselves type of energy. But I was supposed to say you can feel spiritual energy. But the fact that it said sexual energy. It says we're really good friends, but he or she likes me more than a friend. And I feel as though you very you think that's very disgusting says those are not your friends right somebody's being hunted by their past mistakes 
right, someone is acting like a victim. I don't know what this means, but it says there's no cure, right? I'm very persuas persuasive. Someone in your family um, likes to stir drama and then cry wolf and act like they didn't do it. There's a um, adult here. It can be man or woman, all right, who uses women or males for content, sex, cooking, laundry, doing their hair, and doing everything like a housewife or a house guy would do, all right? They don't work. They just pretty much do that kind of shit. Someone is calling demons and devils to protect them and putting bounties on your head. They can also be calling on the dead, doing graveyard rituals or using graveyard yard dirt, all right? That could be this person who's chasing lust, could not. disgusted about what's going on here let's pull some tarot this card is sticking out to me i don't know why but it's saying you're getting a new spiritual gift right this this is definitely a lot of energy attached to this you're definitely going to be rising really high with your spiritual gifts it's going to be very great for you you're going to be very happy about that it's definitely going to help you in what's coming in in the future something that you really need all right coming into your life it's probably it can it can help with your art it can help with your career it can help with your business all right family here how am I going to view this spirit you have family here it can be mom and dad all right or somebody that you look up as a parental figure all right trying to interfere with you trying to keep you oppressed I also see this can be either friends or it can be vice versa. This can be mom. Um, this can be parent or family and this could be friends or this can be friends and this can be family. Um, they're not really like telling you like exactly, but there is somebody that's here that is a snake, heavy on the snake, right? But you are um you are gonna be gaining momentum, you are gonna be gaining clarity on a situation. That was kind of like hidden from you all right yeah you're leaving the situation behind because whatever they were doing they were like heavy doing they were overindulging into the situation trying to interfere with your work with your career with your business but you're changing and you're leaving the situation behind so you can be fortunate in what you need to be doing moving forward. All right. So I'm getting the public party. All right. You're going to be getting clarity, momentum, truth coming about this public party. All right. It says mom or wife sleeps around. It would all make sense in the end. You do have a new love coming in who promised to give it to you just the way you like. Someone doesn't want you to know that you're very powerful than you think and you know. Very powerful than you think and you know. It says don't make people feel bad because you cut them off. All right. And then I see that there is a sexual entity attached to someone, which is why they're very um, sexual, which is why 
it can't, I'm hearing the song Can't Keep My Hands to Myself. I think that's by Selena Gomez. <clears throat> yeah, someone definitely can't keep their hands to their nasty ass selves. So, yeah. This is anything you practice, you will get good at, including being evil. Someone is definitely evil, okay? Heavy on the evil, right? Yeah. You're definitely going to be tapping into a lot of good things in the future, okay? Just because you're authentic, just because you do things pretty naturally, um, someone you're definitely going to be um, gifted for that, rewarded for that in the future. <clears throat> it's so weird because, like, my voice doesn't even sound like this. And lately when I record my videos, I think it's, like, the last two videos, like, my voice has been sounding so fucking weird. But when I stop the video, it sounds completely back to normal. I don't know what that is about, but um, my voice does not sound like this. And then when I record, it goes right back to this tone as if, like... It's just the weirdest fucking thing. But um I see mom here who's being controlled because there is a chip in their head. Right. And I also see that you're wise, you're very wise, you're very intelligent. Okay. <sighs> you pray for your ancestors to help you. And I'm also seeing be very careful of people around you be very careful of your surroundings okay just be very cautious of what you are dibbling your energy into i'm hearing dibbling your energy into don't do low vibrational shit just because everybody else is doing low vibrational shit like you're meant to stand out for a reason okay Okay, so that was loud. You're waiting on an opportunity to come, which is this love here. And when you do come into this love, you're gonna be at peace. You're gonna be very happy, right? Because this is something that you've been manifesting. And the universe is on your side. All right, the universe is definitely backing you up on the situation. The universe will definitely open doors so the situation can happen. All right. But here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. All right. You have these people here who wants to stop you, who wants to slow down and also give you some weak ass offers, all right? So this is, as we call it, past, present, and then future, okay? So your past energy here, who wants to come back around okay and try to reconciliate the situation say that they're sorry say that they can get back into your graces just so they can give you this weak ass lust i'm hearing the sex is not even good the sex is not even that great it's okay it's not that up to par all right <sighs> weak as offer pretty much now you have this present person who's here who's just trying to control the situation and cause conflict here all right because they think that you're not really that of um not really that intelligent when when in reality you're very intelligent you're very intuitive all right aka they're just here to just stop you from moving forward and towards your um your future 
but you know that this is about to be some love okay you know that this is going to be something great that you've been manifesting that you've been wanting okay that you're going to be so fucking happy about but they just want to come in and just give you the loving that you need come in and actually take that action the wants is normally all about action action base okay yeah period because someone's definitely materialistic someone is definitely focused solely on this materialistic looks like they're trying to cause conflict and defeat and battles upon this materialistic shit all right someone is also trying to steal what you got all right steal what you're being which you're supposed to be guilely um gifted which you're supposed to be guilely guy which you're supposed to be um what is supposed to be attached to your karmic um contract something that's supposed to be for you all right that was supposed to be promised for you when you made it into this lifetime right someone wants to come in slow that down take it have control over it manipulate it and all that kind of shit which is why you're leaving the situation behind all right closing this cycle out all right because you want better for yourself you're wishing better for yourself you're praying for better for yourself all right yeah and that's that's a secret you are the high priestess you know this you know that these people are just trying to fuck with your energy space <sighs> you have a follower here who's trying to just follow copy steal what the fuck you got all right family here who has mother father issues Don't get distracted stay in your flow so you can focus um on what's important coming your way i'm hearing that you know what's important coming your way you've just been like distracted around all these fuck niggas and karmic family trying to be put you through conflict and isolation see that your dream car is coming get prepared you're going to be very excited that you're going to finally travel to better places than what you were traveling before. I felt as though your car that you had before was giving you a whole bunch of issues. I whole bunch of just fucking problems that you really just did not even need, honestly. I'm sorry if I curse so much. It's just like, uh, my higher self, she curses a lot. <laughs> I can't really help that. Like, it's just, she's a cursor. And it's funny because when people around me curse, I just look at them like, what? What are you doing? Like, but when I curse, it's like, okay. When it's so stupid, I don't even know why. I gotta change that up. Change that up. I honestly wish I I don't sound like this when I'm recording because like I don't even sound like this like this is not my fucking voice like that's probably another reason why I'm I'm just irritated because it's like this is not my fucking I I want my voice back <laughs> I want my voice back give me my voice back what. Oh, okay. Grandpa's here. Grandpa says, um, stay beautiful. You're very beautiful. You're very, um, you're very, um, you're a sweet girl. And if you're a guy, then stay handsome. Like, don't let people think, like, deteriorate you from being who you are. Like, yeah, because what the hell else? I feel as though there's people that's trying to downplay you and tell you that you're less than or don't look that great when in reality you look bomb as fuck. 
anyway i see karmic's attacking karmic relationship there's karmic around you that's trying to attack the relationship that you're trying to go into also your past relationships that you had before okay yeah they're trying to attack your mate all right people feel protected when they are around you that's a good thing and that's also a bad thing because like i'm that kind of same way so it's like they yeah you feel protected when you're around me but there's also people who take that shit for for granted and it's just like i'm not gonna give you my energy space if you're not worthy of it like if, if i feel as though you're just here to just, to just take my energy to just take my happiness to just take my goodness i'm not about to give you my energy no more you can swallow that go find your own energy bro not to be disrespectful, but it's just like for real. Like, let's be realistic here. The most high says one day you will make it out. It says forget, but don't forget. Keep your head up. Something significant. Wow, my phone is dying. Let me hurry up. Something significant about the side of the house. I don't know what that means. And the Most High says they're very, 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 very proud of you. All right? Yeah, don't stop. Because there's people around you who are very low vibrational. Trying to only protect themselves and not you. I see Capricorn energy. It says whoever you are becoming, they think it's a threat to them. But you can't play yourself. You know what's going on. You might try to pretend like shit's not happening, but you know what's happening. And these people's secrets are going to be exposed. They're caught red-handed. something about a camp here i wasn't really gonna talk about this but i don't know maybe you were sexually harassed at this camp or someone wants to sexually harass you at this camp something significant about this camp that just doesn't really sound right all right and then on the back of that i see a sex worker here who watches porn way too much Be very careful, please. But fuck all that weird shit. Um, your new love wants to slow dance with you. Um, <laughs> they probably could have a pet. A cat. You might be a cat lover. But yeah, remember when I said side of the house? Yeah, something definitely is on the side of the house. I don't know what it is. I'm hearing item. I don't know what it is, but definitely no. I'm hearing say satanic, satanic item. I be very cautious, please. Left or right side, though. I'm hearing left to the left, yeah, because now Beyonce's to the left, to the left. <laughs> Bro, everything you own in a box to the left, bro. What? There's a box with a satanic item in it. It's a very small ass box, like, like as this small, like you know, very very small. Like this is how big my hand is. Come on now, like it's it's a very small box, but it's like a sit a sit a satanic. Yeah, they don't want me to speak about this. But it's a satanic item in the then the fucking box, okay? Someone wants to give you an offer, all right? It's for you to be stable, for you to be solid. It could be a new friend or this female here, all right? Okay. She can be a new friend, she can be an old friend, either way. Somebody wants to come and give you this offer so you can be stable and solid. It feels I'm hearing helping hand, helping 
and friend or something wants to come in and help you out with the situation that you've been struggling with all right some of you it is also um attached to the car all right it is something that is like related to the car someone's trying to help you get a car or um you have someone here who is um trying to help you kind of like get back on your feet there's also someone here that is trying to help you um get out of a situation that you were in okay that kind of situation all right they're trying to help you they're trying to um okay spirit they're trying to help you they're trying to you know reach reach out for you there's this like a companion it's, it's almost like a it was a gift from them and now it's a gift to you like someone it was gifted to them and now it's being gifted to you it can be um money it can be um something material materialistic and it can also be something like just a helping hand as far as like just talking like that can also help as well it really don't matter um but either way it's definitely going to help you get out of the situation that you were in to move into something that is supposed to be um assigned to you all right okay what was i saying before what was i thinking before because now i just forgot damn i should have just said it when i when i was thinking it wow my mind went blank that's messed up giving helping hand giving someone a gift I'm also hearing shoulder to cry on. I'm also hearing public eye. Someone can be in the public eye. I'm also hearing protect me. Someone is, she's, this person is definitely going to protect you. All right, you were in a situation where you felt as though, oh, here we go. You were in a situation where you felt as though you really couldn't get out, which you felt as though you really couldn't move forward into life. You felt pretty much like you just been in full defeat. Like, whatever happened to you, you didn't really feel as though you were um, worthy or you didn't have enough strength or an enough um, accessibilities to move forward into a situation and now you're being gifted to get out of the situation because this is not the right time for you to be feeling like this this is not the right time to, for you to be thinking like this this is not the right time for you to be acting like this you're kind of wasting time and letting life pass you by and right now is not the right time the, the, right now is the time for you to be working your ass off to get towards what is coming next so what you're going through right now is like it's kind of just like slowing you the fuck down and you don't really need that i'm also hearing regarding this tree right here the second i look at this tree the second i'm, I'm feeling it you need to get outside you need to get outside and you need to be around some nature you have a lot of darkness around you you need to get outside and get around some nature i'm so serious get the fuck up walk outside and get in some nature even sit in the sun for a little bit with this yellow come peeping through sit in the sun for a little bit not too long because y'all want to be out there dehydrating and shit i'm also hearing you need to get around some water as well you need to actually tap into all the elements the fuck take your feet out take your shoes off and then dip your feet in that dirt for real even if it's just five ten minutes there is something attached to you over your head keeping you trapped and now is the time to release that that's not what you need to be into right now. That's not the energy that you need to be into. You are great. You have all the resources and things coming your way. 
but you need to get out of the situation first. Nothing is going to come towards you if you don't get into the situation that we're, that I'm telling you about. Get in touch with the elements. Light a candle. Get into nature. Drinking some water. And getting that sun. And step outside. Come on. Breathe in some actual real air. Either way, whatever these people are doing to you, trust me, I'm hearing that it is over now. It's gone. It's done. You can't go back to the past, but it's done. And they will be caught. They can take as much as they can, but look how much they're leaving back. The, the little bit that they're leaving back might not might not be enough for them or not might not or might not be as important to them but this little bit that they're leaving back will be the same little bit that that will be used to take them the fuck down they won't get away with it i don't know who this is for i don't know what your what your life is about what's going on in your life but what they're doing will be caught there's enough evidence to take them down they thought they won but they didn't they didn't win shit they thought they ran away i'm hearing jail 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 ain't nothing fucking come on Listen, you will move into a new direction, okay? And you will live a sweet life. A life that you thought that you wasn't going to live. A life that you thought that you didn't deserve. You're going to be living it. It's yours. It's coming to you faster than you think. All because you don't see progress in the physical doesn't mean that shit is not working in the spiritual it starts off in the spiritual first before it migrates and um gets invented in the physical and trust and believe this life that you've been manifesting is yours it is coming your way it has your name on it not anybody else's you got this stop crying Get up and believe in something different can happen. Because the light is coming to get back everything the darkness chose. They were doing things in the dark and now it's coming back to the light and that is their secret. Fuck that. You will be happy. Why? Because the world is on your side and not theirs. Open opportunity is coming to you and not theirs. You will be getting what is supposed to be assigned for you, regardless of what they think. Confirmation. You just slipped it on my hand like that. I don't know why they did that. Yeah, because they didn't want you to have open opportunity. They didn't want you to be great. They didn't want you to celebrate. They didn't want you to have new things coming your way. But guess what the fuck? You will have it. Because it's yours. And you deserve it. The fuck what they gotta think about it. It's not their it's not their life. They can try to control and manipulate you all day long. Put whatever the fuck they want to put on you all day long. But guess what? It's not going to happen, bro. It's not. Because light always defeats darkness. Always. We just make y'all look like we y'all trying to... Um, we just make y'all look like y'all winning. And then we come in at the last second and show y'all who the fuck we really are.
even Zeus himself is scared of a chosen one. What makes you think like he wasn't we wouldn't gonna tear down these karmas? If we can tear down Zeus, the ruler of the underworld, the ruler of the underworld, then of course we can tear down these weak ass karmics who think that they have control over us, who think that they can control our lives. Ain't shit about to be controlled here, bro. Nothing's about to be controlled here at all. And I will make you think that you um have control over me. are going to be seeking clarity and truth that is the clarity and truth it says clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred inner wisdom then what wellness is here which you will be well you'll be great you will be better than this it says a healthy body, mind, and spirit thrive with a constant flow of balanced energy. And you really do have a strong aura. You do have a strong personality. You do have a strongness, uh, a powerfulness about you. Vitality. Vitality is the beaming force that gives energy and vigor to life. And you're definitely trusting your intuition because you know that something will change. You know that something will be better for you. You know that you will be something better than this. You will get out of this. If you're watching this video, then that is a step to knowing that you will be getting better than this. Because you could have just sat there all day and looked at the fucking wall all day. But you decided to at least move your damn fingers. You see what I'm saying? You could have literally just said it, just slept all the fuck day long. And even if, even if you did, you at least turned around to pick up your phone to start scrolling and came upon this video. Which you didn't have to. You could have just been sleeping the whole way through and not even woke up. But then how was you going to get to this video? You see what I'm saying? You made one action and that action is better than nothing. Intuition. The power of intuition will light your path, providing a connection to the divine. And you are protected. Ain't nothing happening to you. You think shit happening to you, but trust me, if you weren't protected, then all hell would truly break loose. And if you really think that you've been going through hell... And I promise you, if you have access to a phone right now, if you have access to a computer right now, if you have access to, to technology right the fuck now, then you ain't even seen half of the what, of what people really see on a daily basis. Trust. Be grateful for the things that you are blessed with, bro. You are protected. And, and I just want to ask something. You are very much loved. You have spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and the most high. Like, I, I literally see you in heaven, heaven's gate right now. In the back room where they, where they take their time to cleanse you. And all your ancestors and your angels and your spirit guides are just put it, placing their hand on your shoulder. Giving you a little bit of their energy so you can make it through what you're going through. You are protected. You just don't see it. You just don't feel it. But trust me, if you weren't protected... Then the Most High could have been took you out of this lifetime. Could have been took you out of this realm. By this point. You got so much protection going on in the spiritual realm. 
You do. I'm not just saying shit just to say shit. I'm not going to tell you no damn lie. That's not who I am. I speak truth. Nothing but the truth. Which is why I'm very blunt with what I say. Because I'm not going to sit here and waste your time. Because I don't want you to sit here and waste my time. I believe that something different can happen in your life. I believe that you can get out of what, you, what you're going through. And you're going to be making it far in life. This is the first step to what is coming next. You think that your life started when you was born? No, your life starts right now after this video this video is finished and it's up to you at the end of the day to want more to fight for more ain't nobody in this world is gonna fight for you other than you because ain't nobody in this world who's gonna die for you other than you nobody else can't fit in your casket bro but you there's no room for that And quite frankly, the Most High is not going to let you pass. Especially right now, you got important things to do. You was a sign for more important things to do in your life. And whether you like it or not, you about to have ancestors coming in and out of your life, using you as a vessel to push your ass through. How do I know? Because I was in the same predicament you were not even a year ago. And my life has changed drastically within a couple of weeks, bro. Trust me. You're protected. It says create sacred space to keep uninvited energy out. You have a lot of dark energy around you and then a lot of sadness to cover it up and then a lot of pain and then a lot of conflict and then a lot of gossip and a lot of weak ass drama. And it's not you, it's the people that's around you. And when you get from around them, you're gonna feel like all this energy that you're around is literally the energy that you're picking up from them. It's not your energy, but they want you to feel as though it's your energy. You're picking up on their energy this whole entire time, bro. But trust and believe it's not your energy. That's not who you are. That's not who you are. Because before you were around that energy, you was a light. You was a beam. Your light is so strong. Your energy is so strong. And you didn't allow these people to come and take that away. You was just being good. You was just being, you know, you. You were just shining your light as you do. You were just being all beautiful and shit. Smiling and everything. And then these people came and misused and abused that. Because they because they don't have the energy that you have. So they had to take it. That's called energy vampire. That's called energy harvesting. That's what they do. That's how it works. But trust and believe you're getting out of this situation. You're not just getting out of this situation. The answers are coming in to snatch you out of this situation. You're going to be guided to move. You're going to be guided to just pack all your shit and go. Something inside you is just going to wake you up. And even if you even if you pack and you're not moving that day, guess what? You just gonna continue to pack and pack and pack until you do move. And when you move, it's gonna be very sudden, which is why you're packing. Out of nowhere, you're just gonna wanna pack. 
not even knowing why, not even knowing where you're going. You just, you just pack it, you just pack it. And then out of nowhere, you got to leave very sudden. The reason why you're packing is because when you leave, you're going to leave unnoticed. It's going to be unnoticeable. It's going to be something that's going to come out where you got to move really quickly. And when you move really quickly, you're going to be very grateful because you have all your bags packed and you being ready. And no one needs to know about this situation. Only you. Because who's, who's leaving with you? You you leaving by yourself, bro. You going. Because not everybody is supposed to be going where you're going. Not everybody is, is invited to go where you're going. The reason why you're leaving is because there's people around you who's praying, wishing, hoping for your downfall. And you need to leave that situation alone. Or they're going to take that situation from you. You see what I'm saying? And trust me. You take this leap of faith, the most high going to catch you and give you open doors, opportunities, which is why the, the universe car was there. Because you got the universe on your side, guiding you and helping you through this. Opening doors and possibilities and, and opportunities for you, all perfectly in line for you. We're just waiting for you. Don't wait for us. We're waiting for you. Because we got everything made for you. We got everything set out perfectly in line for you. You just got to want to do it. You just got to believe that you can do it. And you just got to start achieving it. Here's your last message before we go. Angel number 11. Also master number 11. It says angels concerning your soul mission or greater life purpose. Sending you inspiration and encouragement to develop your abilities in ways that will help all of humanity. You have a way bigger mission here on earth. Mission here in this life. And we're not about to let you just drop just because you feel as though this is too much for you. You signed this soul contract to achieve this thing in life. And you're not about to go until you fulfill that. And when you do fulfill that, you're gonna realize that you shouldn't that you shouldn't have even thought about trying to go. What's the point of going? Once you get to your soul purpose, your soul mission, you're gonna be like, damn, like I can actually do this. I can actually conquer the world. Exactly. All because you don't have a lot of people that's that seem like minded as you doesn't mean that you're not about to walk into people who are the same like minded as you. You're about to come into contact with your soul family, your soul mission, your soul purpose. You're about to come into contact with people that are like minded like you. But you gotta leave these people that are trying to take from you so you can go towards people who are actually for you. Do you see what I'm saying? You got this. I trust you. I believe in you. Your ancestors trust you. Your ancestors believe in you. Your spirit guides, your archangels. And if you need extra protection, you can always call on your archangels at any single time of the day. They're waiting for you. Just call on them. And the most high. Come on. Let's not forget about the most high. He be waiting for everybody to call on him. He don't care what time it is. It can be 2, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Call me if you need me. Talk to me if you need me. Ask if you need me. I'm just a breath away. And you can talk to him like I'm talking to you right now, like normal. He hears you. You don't have to yell. You don't have to scream. You don't have to pray. You don't have to do none of that. Just talk. And if you feel as though you cannot have the ability to talk, then write it down. But you're leaving the situation behind because you're supposed to be happy somewhere else. Somewhere where these people are not invited to your come up party. You're about to level up, sis. You're about to level up, bro. 
but it starts with you. Trust me, you're going to be so happy fulfilling this soul mission, fulfilling this soul purpose. And you're going to have so many people that are going to support you. You're going to be so happy. And you're going to realize that you could have been did this shit if you would have just left these people alone. And I understand that you didn't really know what was going on at first. But now that you're having a clear insight, now that you're having a little bit of clarity, and this is supposed to happen the way that it's happening, so you can know who to be around, who not to be around, who to trust, who not to trust. Yeah, family, family, a lot of families are good. A lot of families, it's not like every single family is bad. A lot of families are good families, bro. But a lot of families are not good at all. Trust me, I had to learn that this year. And I'm still going through shit this year. I really did thought my family was good for me. Until I realized that they've been faking it this whole fucking time. It's not, it's, it's, you're just, you're just, you're just going to see when you leave the situation behind. The more further you get, the more you're going to see. The more further you get, the more eyes you're, you're going to catch on. Like, you're just going to just, in fact, you're going to change the whole perspective on your family your family's gonna f see a whole different you that they never even believe that you can be and that's not your that's not your problem that's their problem because they assume shit not believing praying on your downfall and now they now you're about to rise up further than all of them okay i love you be safe stay protected don't forget to smile Get out in that nature. Get that sun. Stay positive. I love you. Bye.